I'm Jackie, Grandma Jackie to my friends. Uh, today I'm going to read a, one of my favorite books called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. He writes good books. I like the illustrations too. dedicated this page to his sister, Krista. Maybe you know someone named Krista. Here we go. Shall I turn the page so you can see? Sure. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. You're all, are you hungry when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Oh. <laughs> On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. <laughs> He's got quite an appetite. <laughs> On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Right. On Sunday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, <laughs> one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, <laughs> one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. <laughs> Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big <laughs> fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and was a beautiful butterfly. The end. I love butterflies, so this is one of my favorite books. Have you ever watched a butterfly emerge from a cocoon? It's really magical. It's almost Unbelievable the way a little worm can turn into a gorgeous butterfly just like he did. Mm -hmm. Bye for now.